The first week of the IBU World Championships in Antols Antraselva was full of surprises and incredible moments. But the second half was not any less exciting. The name of these championships was definitely the one of Marte Osbu Roiseland, who won seven medals out of seven possible ones, proving that her choice to prioritize this event was correct and the two weeks in Antos became a career breakthrough. Suddenly I was up there and chasing the gold and I haven't... Uh... If anyone had told me that before the start, I hadn't believed them, so I'm just so happy. For her last gold, she battled past the other woman of this championships, Dorotea Vira. The Italian had won the woman individual in an incredible fashion and tried to take a third gold in the mass start. When she left in the lead after the last range, however, she had little left to challenge the return of Rosalind, who took her fifth win of the fortnight. Just a day before, it was the 29-year-old to bring another gold home for the team in the women relay. After contributing massively for the successes in the mixed and single mixed relays, Rosalind came on top of a roller coaster competition which had never seen the Norwegians leading up until the last shooting. <laughs> Differently from last year, the men could not complete a full hand of relay victories as they failed to repeat the comeback from behind of the ladies. Still, Johannes Dignesberg could bring a second place home, ahead of Germany. History was however made in the first place, as Quentin Fillon-Maillet did not let the nerves put him off balance in the decisive final shooting. The Frenchman left alone and could bring home a first win in the former since 2001. So much emotion, so much stress before the race and uh, after also so much stress on the last shooting because we know uh, we fight for the win. This gold felt particularly special for Martin Foucault, who had been waiting for this medal since the start of his career, and it finally came, right after he had equaled Ole Einar Björndalen's record of 11 individual goals. I never started badminton to, to make the history books or to be the best ever, but uh, that uh, kind of uh, statistics comes. You have to be proud of that and, you have to, and I'm really proud of it. Despite being very upset when he missed the very last shot of the men individual, Foucault could finally celebrate his victory when Burr finished behind due to a miss too many. On that day, Dominic Landertinger also shed tears of happiness, returning to the podium of the World Championships four years since the last time he did it individually. The World Championships could not finish on a better note for Johannes Dignesbu. With a perfect day at the range, the Norwegian seized an undisputed victory on the final Sunday for his first gold individually at this World Championships. Yeah, I sent a message home, I'm coming home tomorrow and uh, it's been one amazing championships. Uh, I'm very happy. <laughs> Two fabulous weeks of biathlon have come to an end, but the season won't stop here, as the fight for the Crystal Globes is resuming in Novemesto na Moravie in just a week. With the hearts filled of iconic moments, we're leaving Anto Santerselva with the eyes still full of its beauty.